Greetings, salutations. Wait a minute. Can y'all hear me? Is the mic picking up the sound? Is it picking up? Yep, it's picking up the sound. Praise God. Praise God. Because I get worried. I get very worried. Okay. Um. Hey, welcome to TV Thursday. As you can see here, <laughs> I, I'm not a news. Oh, this is my pop filter for my, my microphone. Who cares? Who cares? Um, we're talking about the Wayans. We're talking about brothers. They're happy and they're singing and they're colored. Do, 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 do. Give them a high five. Um, let me share this screen, honey, so we can read this Wikipedia child about the Wayans brothers. <clears throat> the Wayans. Uh, the Wayne Brothers is an American sitcom television series that aired on the WB from January 11th, 1995 to May 20th, 1999. The series starred real life brothers, fine, fine Sean Mathis Wayans and fine, fine Marlon Lamont Wayans. Well, fine, fine Sean and fine Marlon. <laughs> Good Sean, my guy today. Uh, the series also starred the late, great John Witherspoon. Child, or John Weatherspoon. I didn't realize his name was John Weatherspoon, but he went by Witherspoon. Who knew? And the second mother of Black Hollywood, Anna Maria Horsford. Because we know the first uh, mother of Black Hollywood, obviously, let me make myself bigger here. The uh, first mother is obviously the uh, incomparable, I was going to say Lynn Whitfield, girl, not her, <laughs> Jennifer Lewis. Lynn Whitfield is one of the, she's, she's the bad mother. She's the evil mother of Black Hollywood. Because, wow, what a villain. We need to talk about her. Um, we're not, I guess we can look at the premise. <clears throat> Sean and Marlon Williams, who are the Wayans brothers, are brothers who live in an apartment on 117th Street in Harlem. Sean owes a... <clears throat> I'm struggling today. Sean owns a local newsstand where he and his brother Marlon work on a daily basis. In the show's second season in 1995, news, the newsstand's Pops Joint, the restaurant owned by their father, John Pops Williams, who was John with a spoon, uh, were moved downtown to the, into the fictional Niedermeyer building in Rockefeller Center. Now, Rockefeller is that girl. Okay, where Dee Baxter, Anna Maria Horsefoot, which I don't know why she doesn't have a picture, but we, I think we all know what Anna Maria Horsefoot looks like. If you don't, let's uh, pull her up because you know her face if you don't know her name. Now, look at, look at my Wi-Fi. Look at her. I pay for the, the, the top Wi-Fi and Miss Mama wants to take her sweet time. You know, the mama from Friday, the mama from Friday. I don't know what our ancestor was wearing in this picture. What's the glove? Is this gloves? Is this a jacket? Hmm. But y'all know Anna Maria. Y'all know her from Amen. <clears throat> anyway, not younger. What she look like younger? I'd be, ooh, I'd be on it. <laughs> I'd be in a rabbit hole. She looked the same. She had looked exactly the same. Come on, giving us a, <clears throat> giving us one of these old, what is this? This is a, a gospel album cover. This is alone in a room. Just, this is a Yolanda Adams kind of moment. Or a Dorinda Clark Cole, The Rose. This is The Rose honey this is yeah that's the rose right there anyway girl what do i be going through okay back to the wayne's brothers onwards from season two maria worked as a sit uh security guard. d baxter worked as a security guard um they had transitions child sean sean's girlfriend lisa saunders who was leela roshan the legendary i don't know why they <laughs> Okay, this is what we know Leela Roshan to have looked like in the 90s, right? Right. She looks different today. No, her face looks the same. She's just gained a little weight. And I don't understand. Not daughter, child, not daughter. I don't understand. I said not daughter. Anyway, 
that's Lila Roshan right there. That's what she looks exactly the same. Um, you know, face wise, except her face is a little larger because she aged, honey. She had done had sepsis, trying to have this cheering, honey. This cheering right here. Uh, these two cheerings. I think that's the son. Whatever. Anyway, and I don't understand because we know Lila was that girl, like, like, and still is really. I don't understand. I don't understand why on Leela's Wikipedia page they would show um, a picture from 1998 like she has passed away. She's still living and she's still taking pictures. <sighs> anyway, she did not return for the rest of the series, which I feel like is rude, but you know what? She was waiting to exhale. Monique, Paula J. Parker, a local shopkeeper and Marlon's love interest, did not return after the 11th episode. Parker first appeared as love interest of Marlon's in the season one episode, Pulp Marlon. She was only a guest star for the one episode. Now, we all know Paula J. Parker. I'm going to show you her face because we know her. If you don't know her by name, you know her by face. Not her not having a picture. Now I got to pull Paula. Not siblings. Just her. Y'all know their face. Y'all know you think I could run up in here, snap my fingers, and make these motherfuckers throw their money at me? Nigga, I ain't even made payout yet from the hit movie Hustle and Flow. Y'all know Paula. There she go. Um... Lou, who was Jill, Jill Tasker, um, whose face I think we know. I'm, I'm not 100% on the face. Oh, no, I don't know this woman. I do not know her. I don't know who I was thinking of. But anyway, the former security guard left after the seventh episode and was replaced by Dee Baxter. White Mike, who was Mitch Mullaney. There he go. Sean and Marlon's ghetto white neighbor appeared for six episodes of season two he was slated to appear as a reoccurring character for the rest of the series but mitch mulaney ended up getting his own show nick freno licensed teacher which i've never heard of in my life that only lasted for two seasons uh sean formerly worked <clears throat> for asp yet in season two he works at his newsstand marlon was working with pops at the diner but in season two he worked at the newsstand with sean pops joint was a standalone restaurant. He hired Marlon and Benny the cook during season one. However, in season two, the eatery was moved into the Niedermeyer building in Rockefeller Center. It also revealed that Pop's Joint was a historical landmark for the nation's leaders and activists of the civil rights movement, honey, like four way down in Memphis, where Martin Luther King them had done stopped to get them something to eat, which is closed like Monday, Tuesday, Monday, like Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And they only be open like Wednesday through Friday. It's like, girl, because we be over there during the weekend like let's go to four-way and four-way be closed it's ghetto it's ghetto okay because they got some good food um the main cast let me take a sip of this coffee the main cast sean wayans is sean williams a womanizing stylish and responsible which okay young bachelor and marlon's older brother he is an owner of his local newsstand. Marlon Wayans plays Marlon Williams, Sean's dim-witted, immature, sex-crazed, unsanitary, ugh, and lazy younger brother who also works at the newsstand. John with a spoon plays John Pops Williams, Sean and Marlon's dysfunctional, tacky father who owns his locally famed diner right by Sean and Marlon's newsstand. Anna Maria Horsefoot plays Deirdre, D. Baxter onwards from season two. The tough security guard and Sean and Marlon uh, and Pop's close friend. Leela Roshan had done played Lisa Saunders. Paula J. Parker had done played Monique. Jill Castor had done played Lou. Uh, reoccurring Phil Lewis, who we know. You know, we know his face. Thelonious T.C. Capri Capricornio, who was... <laughs> that was a mess. Um, but if you don't know Phil Lewis, he played... Um, Mr. Mose, Mr. Mosley, Mobley, Mo, Mos, Mosby, Mr. Mosby, down to uh, the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, um, and Sweet Life on Deck. So that's that's him right there. Mitch Mullaney played the white man we saw. 
Janae Dubois, honey, my grandmother, long, long live. God rest and long live. Janae Dubois, who we all know as a Bologna, played Grandma Ellington in seasons uh, three and four. And Jermaine Huggy Hobson played Dupree. I don't know. Oh, Hopkins, excuse me. Played Dupree. I don't know who that is, but I'm not going to look him up. Anyway, child, it was produced. We're not going to do too much of that. The show is official. We're doing theme music and opening sequence. The show's official official opening title began with Sean and Marlon Marlin on the steps of a brownstone, strong like stone, earthly color brown, strong like stone, earthly color brown, strong like stone, earthly color. If you love me, say it. If you trust me, do it. It's that do it. Yeah. Woo. I need to listen to some brownstone today. Anyway, <laughs> the steps of a br- strong like brown, a strong like brown earthly color stone <laughs> apartment building donning afros and wearing 1970s preppy attire, moving in rhythm to an accompanying satirical music piece that's supposed to have a 1970s style urban sitcom theme song feel. Um, Marlon forcefully smacks the camera and then segues into the real opening of the Wayans Brothers, which is very 90s. Um, Yeah. You've seen the theme song, honey. You've seen it. If you haven't seen it, go. uh, let's go to YouTube right now. Because I literally just watched it because it's it's good. It's good. Um, Let's, how do we, okay, play pause and mute because <laughs> i don't want to get i don't want to get in trouble we're brothers we're happy and we're singing and we're colored da, 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 da. give me a high five and then they um high five and then they <laughs> they move on to this and it's a sickening little moment okay so anyway <laughs> i hope i'll get took down for that um yeah, the theme song was a trial, tribe calls called quests. My God, today electric relaxation, uh, which you can listen to listen to on your own time because <laughs> I'm not getting struck. <laughs> Warner Brothers domestic television distribution handles syndication distribution of the series in September 1999 after the series was canceled by the WB which is stands for Warner Brothers. The series began airing off-network syndication ne- nationwide, child. I'm not going to read all this, but you can read it. You can go to uh, wikipedia.com and read it yourself. This is when it was released to DVD. Uh, pause it and, 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 and acknowledge it for yourself, honey. You can read the whole little to-do. And that <laughs> was TV Thursday. Thank you so much for coming with me here to tv thursday and talking about the wayans brothers i don't particularly have a favorite episode it was all just really funny to me (laughs) i don't think i have like a specific favorite but anyway (laughs) if you have one comment it down below and let's talk about it child and i'll see y'all next week honey for another tv show like comment subscribe y'all know what to do and uh peace out